It's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Avoiding Real Estate Turbulence podcast. This is your pilot, John Lafferty, with Century 21 Town & Country. And this is Tony Abate with Ross Mortgage, and we are your real estate pilots. Our job is to be your real estate advocate and also to make sure you're educated about the buying and selling process. We'll keep you informed throughout until we get you safely closed. Today, we are going to talk home warranties with local expert Christy Golan of American Home Shield. Welcome, Christy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi, Christy. Glad to have you. Um, So tell us a little bit about home warranties, how they work, um, and how they can be of a benefit to somebody who may be purchasing a home or thinking about selling a home. Absolutely. Well, a home warranty is a one-year service agreement that clients can sign up for, which protects their major systems and appliances in their home for, you know, normal breakdowns that'll, breakdowns that'll happen due to normal wear and tear. Um, with us, you know, we really talk about warranty as uh, a benefit to the client in terms of that budget protection and really ensuring that they have that peace of mind down the road, um, especially with first time home buyers, uh, you know, really looking at the amount of money that they're putting into the home, um, up front and not having that expended, you know, that expense down the line um, and having that peace of mind with a home warranty. So that's really, you know, the the budget and the peace of mind is the number one. Well, Tony, didn't we talk about that back, uh, I want to say maybe uh, five or six podcasts ago, we were talking about one of the major things that buyers didn't anticipate when they purchased their home were maintenance and repair costs. Uh, they were way more than they anticipated. And I think this goes exactly to that it's it's peace of mind so that you don't have to worry if the furnace quits on you you're not going to spend 500 or a thousand bucks to get it back up and running right absolutely and where a home warranty doesn't cover everything out there um it really gives that that buffer for those large expenses that'll happen down the road when you're talking about you know your hvac giving out or your water heater giving out um really giving that peace of mind to know that they're protected to have that coverage yeah, we did talk about that. I'm sorry. Um, you, uh, our industry is partially to blame. You know, one of the things we do is we get folks so laser focused on the money needed for down payment, money needed for closing costs, and that check that they're bringing to the closing that all those other very real things uh, don't. They kind of they kind of lose focus on that, and next thing you know, that home buyer is purchasing that unexpected water heater or furnace repair or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with us, you know, I always say to my clients when I'm dealing with the homeowners, when I'm dealing with the realtors, you know, I always talk about it's not it's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. And while we don't know that variable, um, you know, an average of two claims uh, happen within that first year of home war- home ownership. And I know I think back to when I purchased my first home 15 years ago with my husband we put you know, all of our savings, everything that we had built up into that down payment for mm-hmm. our home. And um, the home that we purchased, uh, there was a home warranty offered on it. And having that peace of mind, I believe we had three or four uh, service claims the first year of home ownership. Wow. The funny mm-hmm. thing about that is looking back at that story now, working for American Home Shield, I had an American Home Shield warranty 15 years ago on my <laughs> home. So, you know, kind of kind of crazy how the how it all comes back into play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really interesting. <laughs> how many times uh, question for you Tony just yeah. uh, as an aside. How many times have you had buyers where they basically emptied their bank account and had almost nothing left when they were purchasing their first home yeah. and maybe didn't have a home warranty? Yeah, far too often, you know, I have to tell you that there's situations where we have to time the closing based on payroll deposits. And that is just running way too skinny. And, um, you know, boy, if anybody needs a home warranty, it's that person because if they have any expense after closing, they're, they're really going to, there's no landlord to call. Uh, you know, you, you got to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully right. that warranty is in place. Yeah, absolutely. And I look at, you know, I deal with, uh, realtors all day long and homeowners. And, um, you know, when you're really looking at who should have a home warranty, um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, agents and realtors are selective as to who they're offering that home warranty to. Um, you know, that home warranty is just as important to that home that's five years old as the home that's 50 years old, you know, with protecting those appliances regardless of the age. You know, it's like I said, it's not if it's going to happen, it's when that breakdown is going to occur. Let's talk about 
um, types of coverage that that are offered and things that are things that are typically covered, items in the house that are typically covered with a home warranty, and maybe some things that aren't. Yeah, absolutely. So we we offer. Three different real estate packages with um, American Home Shield. Uh, the base package is our Shield Essential Plan. It covers the major systems in the home, so your HVAC system, water heater, electrical plumbing, plumbing. So the systems that are the most expensive to repair in your home. We also offer uh, a mid package Shield Plus that adds on all the appliances. So it covers all of your appliances in your home: washer, dryer, refrigerator, um, you know, oven, cooktop range, dishwasher, garbage disposal, microwave oven. And then our uh, top package, Shield uh, Complete, is uh, adds on the bells and whistles of the warranty. So your garage door opener, your ceiling fans, doorbells, all those additional home items um, as completing the package. So does one of them offer – uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought one of them offered if there was any work that was done that wasn't permitted or up to code and something went wrong, mm -hmm. that it would be covered. Absolutely. So that's part of our comprehensive coverage we offer on all of our plans. Okay. We offer up to $250 per uh, contract year for permits and for um, code violations. So if something breaks down and we need to bring it up to code or we need to pull a permit, we will pay up to 250 per each um, on that contract. That's pretty good. Okay. So, so if there's this the scenario, just so I'm understanding, because I'm kind of one step removed. So somebody does a, a bathroom addition and uh, it's done by their uncle because the guy just knows what he's doing really good. And, and, and they put that bathroom in. Now they go to sell the home and there's a plumbing failure in that bathroom. The fact that that person did not pull permits does not prevent coverage. Is, is that correct? Correct. Okay, good. Correct. But if there was a plumbing fail, if there was an issue with the plumbing that failed, mm -hmm. we needed to repair that plumbing issue and we needed to bring it up to code or we needed to pull a permit to do so, mm -hmm. that would be covered under our warranty. Okay. Correct. Good. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a huge list of things that are covered, even on just the first couple of tiers. And uh, there's no cheap service calls. It, it it can't take very much to offset the cost of of the home warranty. Uh, one or two service calls, I would have to think, would easily offset the cost of of what the home warranty co if if the buyer chooses to pay for it themselves. Right. Absolutely. Uh, you know, our service call fee, our service fee is seventy five dollars on yeah. any level of warranty with us. Mm -hmm. So anytime that client needs to place a work order and get a technician out to their home, they would pay that seventy five dollars for us to get that technician out to diagnose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what separates American Home Shield from other home warranty companies and um, and maybe some of the local utilities that offer coverage as well to homeowners? Absolutely. Uh, I'm biased. I work for American Home Shield. Um, <laughs> and while I don't want to talk about the competition, I, I always talk about what we do really well as a company. Uh, you know, one of the great things about American Home Shield is that we have a network of over 15,000 contractors that work for, that work with us. Um, so, you know, there are other home warranty companies out there that you hire, you know, you work with your own contractors. Uh, for us, we make it very simple for our clients. They call us, they place the work order, we send the technicians straight to their home. So there's nothing, you know, they, they, they don't have to take time out of their day to find a contractor. And while, you know, hiring your own contractor is great, um, if you know somebody, you know, if you don't know mm -hmm. anyone, you, you that's the great thing about us. You call the 800 number, you log in online and place that work order, that service call, and we will get someone to your home within 48 hours. What's the biggest complaint right now that you hear from everybody, Tony, especially people who want to do things with their house? Can't get a contractor. Right, they're, right. they're booked out for six weeks before they can even come to your house and mm -hmm. take a look at something. Or you want something upgraded or repaired. Good luck because they're all busy. They're all slammed. You can't find anybody. Yeah. Um, and, and if you do it on your own, right, you're going to pay – probably quite a bit of money, or you may get a, a pretty good deal on it, but they may be able to do your do the work for you over the next <laughs> six months or yeah, eight months. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's a problem. It really is. And then, you know, when you finally can find that contractor who is not busy, well, then you got to kind of wonder, well, why isn't this guy busy and everybody else is busy? And now you might be getting substandard service. Uh, Christy, I'm, I imagine that the contractors that you call, you're not just Googling somebody. You've got, you've vetted these places and, and these are folks that have some, some reliable track record. Is that safe to say? Absolutely. Yeah. Our contractors are all licensed and insured, mm-hmm. um, fully vetted with us. We, we work on a five star rating. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we obviously, um, you know, love to give that work to our five star vendors. Um, you know, so we do have a proven track record with the vendors that we work with. Yeah. I just had to have a refrigerator repair and I don't have a home warranty <laughs> on my home. And a, a huge part of the anxiety was just who to call, you know, and then, you know, gee, can I trust these reviews? Do I know anything about this guy? Um, it was painful. And so to know that that's already been done, that that's a huge advantage. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, you, you also, if, if you're a homeowner and you've been in your house for several years, do you have the ability to purchase a home warranty? Absolutely. So the, the, the product that I sell is the real estate product, the first year real estate product. Mm-hmm. However, we do sell a product, a direct-to-consumer product that you can purchase through our website at uh, ahs.com and uh, you know get your prices quoted that way if you are a current homeowner. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Absolutely. huge. That's huge. The packages are still very similar. We have a systems only package, an appliance package, a combo package. I think you and I talked about this before. Is is the consumer package a a little bit pricier than somebody who's buying a home realist on the real estate side? Are they very comparable? All of our products are very comparable. Okay. Um, the hmm. coverage is different depending on if you have the real estate product or if you have the direct to consumer product. So the coverage is a little bit different, but we try and keep it pretty consistent across all plans. Hmm. All right. So let's address the 600 pound gorilla in the room. Yeah. Yeah. I have a home warranty on my house. I have, let's see, let's say the middle, the middle plan. Okay. Uh, I, I move into my house and I've been in there for, Five months. So it's now December, January. My furnace quits. I call up American Home Shield. They send out a technician. He comes out and says, your furnace is 35 years old. It's kaput. Can't fix it. Parts aren't made anymore. And I say, okay, well, um, the inspector at the time told me it was an 80 efficiency furnace. I want... Uh, a better efficiency furnace. I want fresh air to be used to heat and blown throughout the house. So I want a 90 plus. And he says, all right, no problem. And I say, okay, great. So I'm totally covered on the home warranty, right? (laughs) Well, (laughs) the answer to that is kind of, kind of. (laughs) So, you know, obviously with that, you know, that furnace that has failed, we're a repair company first. So we, we try and repair. And if there's no parts available, that, technician diagnoses that um, we need to go to replacement and that's the recommendation, that's how we'll move forward. When we look at what we replace, we're going to replace like for like. So we're going to look at things like capacity, efficiency, features of that item, and that's what we're going to replace it with. Now, you always have, as a homeowner, you always have that option to upgrade and you can pay that upgrade and that difference straight to our technicians and work with our technician if you want to have a higher efficient furnace. That's your option at that time. But what American Home Shield will cover is like for like with that unit. Mm -hmm. The other thing, and I think the other misconception with um, a home warranty as in any insurance out there, is that everything is covered. And really how I look at a home warranty is really similar, you know, to how I look at health insurance. You know, you're going to pay your deductible. So we have a $75 deductible um, or trade service fee. You're also going to have what the insurance covers, what the warranty covers. And then also you may have some out-of-pocket costs that arise due to that replacement. So in a furnace uh, replacement that you're referencing, American Home Shield, if approved, would put in the new furnace for the client. But there may be some modifications that have to be made to the gas line, um, to the venting, to the flue. Uh, in order to get that new unit to fit the existing space, mm-hmm. that would be an out of pocket to the client. But American Home Shield will cover the cost of that new unit. So the value is definitely still there when you think about, you know, the average price of a of a new uh, furnace. You know, you're talking probably twenty five hundred dollars plus for that mm-hmm. new unit yeah. for the price of a you know, let's say a base warranty of four hundred and fifty dollars for that year. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, that makes complete sense. If we were – well, let me back up. One of the things that that I think separates your company from some of the others out there are your um, – I don't want to call them add-on services, mm-hmm. but what we almost call them concierge services, talking about – locksmith services um, and some of the other things that you guys offer in addition to the the normal home warranties. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about those things. So we're definitely, as a home warranty company, we're definitely moving in the direction of adding value to our clients uh, and giving them a reason to use our warranty without a breakdown happening. So a couple examples of that. uh, Last year, uh, we launched the Reiki service. Uh, We offer Reiki on any warranty that is purchased through um, American Home Shield uh, through my product. And what the Reiki service does is for the price of the service fee, $75 is what the client would pay. We'll send a technician straight to their home to Reiki up to six locks and provide four identical keys to them um, for that service fee. So this is really a great uh, feature and a great benefit to use, especially, um, you know, once closing and moving in to get their home rekeyed. That's huge. I, I mean, that's one of the things that as a realtor, we tell all of our buyer clients all the time, when, when you buy that house, one of the first things you should do is change all the yeah. locks in the house for the for at least a minimum of the front door um, because how many relatives have been given a key or how many That's people have come through the house yeah. uh, and used that key and you just never know. Um, yeah. What, do you, what are you hearing from clients about what, what is a locksmith charging for that kind of service? I'll, I'll tell you. Point blank. I, I met a locksmith at a house about uh, about two months ago. The owner mailed me a key from Kentucky, and it never showed up, <laughs> and I had to get in there. So I met a locksmith out there, and for one key on the front door, it was $150. Good gravy. Yeah. Uh, and, your, and yours would be the cost of the service call, $75. $75. For four keys and all the – and six locks. And six locks. Yeah, and the great thing about that is that if there's a client that has more than six locks, they could then work with that vendor, mm-hmm. with that technician on, you know, if they had eight locks, on those additional two locks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. That's huge. That it's, is. It's a, great, it's a great convenience to be able to have that set up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, wow. you know, we, we really try and tie back, uh, you know, that – that cost to that service fee. So we're also offering, we're getting ready to go into, I can't believe I'm saying this, into heating season, right? It's yeah. August. <laughs> it's a little chilly out there today. Mm-hmm. Um, so getting ready to get into heating season and we're starting our, uh, you know, our heating si- season tune-ups, our heating system tune-ups will start in September. So for September, October, November, we offer um, that to our clients as a preventative measure for them to ensure that their systems are in proper working order before they have to turn on that heat. We do the same thing in the springtime for three months uh, prior to AC season. So uh, starting in September, our clients can have that uh, heating system tune up for $75 as well. Hmm, nice. That's a great price. It is. It is. Yeah, they're, they're, they started $100 from everything that I see. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and that's probably just getting the guy in the door. So, yeah, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Were there any other uh, services like that that you were – that the company was maybe beta testing that they're now – uh, approved and moving forward and going to offer, or are they not at that point yet? So we continue to pilot and test all the time. Um, nothing yet ready to roll out, but there okay. are quite a few things in the works. Um, some of the other things that we have that have rolled out to our clients, we have a partnership with Hello Tech. Hello Tech is offering TV mounting services. Mm-hmm. So right now for our clients, we're offering a TV mounting service up to 60 inch TV for $99. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah. And then we also have right now, uh, this was actually added on. Michigan was a test market and it's on our current brochure. We're offering a, um, an electronics protection plan through Assyrian. We have a partnership with Assyrian, which protects an unlimited amount of electronics in your home. And I think about myself. Uh, I have, you know, myself, my husband and three kids and the amount of yeah. electronics that are in our home. And we protect everything from televisions to tablets, computers, uh, laptops, uh, you know, all of those systems, smart home system, you know, an unlimited amount for $240 for a year. So for $20 a month, they're going to have all of those electronics protected. The great thing about our protection is we, we protect against surge failures, 
which when you buy an extended warranty on a lot of those items, that's excluded. Mm, okay. And in our warranty, it's included. So the electronics protection plan is an add-on similar to like adding on pool coverage, spa coverage to your existing contract, that rider. Um, and that's what's available to our clients. We're really excited to offer that to them as well as a value add. Hmm. So can I ask what, so that protected against what for when you're talking about electronics? Uh, surge, surge uh, damage, yeah. and and what other things does that, co- or is that is that predominantly what the coverage is for? Yeah, you know, it it's really looks at it really protects similar to how our warranty protects our systems okay. and appliances against breakdowns that happen due to normal wear and tear, mm-hmm. oh, and okay. that's really you know how we view the electronics as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, number of devices in homes these days, my goodness, uh, it, it, dozens really, isn't dozens, it? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've talked a lot about the the buyer side and and the benefits to the buyer can you take a minute and just talk about the benefits on the seller side uh, with somebody who's selling a home and and what having a home warranty in place for them how that might help them absolutely it's twofold with the seller you know really with offering a home warranty on that listing it's really um marketing your home you know you want to market your home and really you know ensure that that potential buyer, you know, sees that as a value add as well, you know, especially if you're dealing with, you know, buyers who are first time home buyers or buyers that may not be the most handy or, you know, really looking at the negotiation tool with using that home warranty and that offering and giving it that peace of mind to that potential buyer down the road. Also looking at a home warranty as that peace of mind for the seller. You know, that seller really is moving on to their next step as well. And the last thing that they want to think about is an unexpected breakdown that may happen Hmm. during that listing period, too. So we do offer listing coverage for that seller as an add-on to the buyer plan that they're going to offer the buyer, which will really get them through that listing period and get them through that home inspection process. Hmm. You have no idea how many times I've had that conversation with a seller where we – the, the furnace is the original, yeah. the house is 35 years old, mm-hmm. and we have that discussion about putting a home warranty in place because it just makes sense. Yeah. Murphy's Law would dictate that you get a buyer, we're under contract, we're moving towards closing, and the furnace quits. In fact, another agent in my office <laughs> had that exact thing, same thing happen. The, the furnace completely went kaput, and – they were going to offer a credit uh, and just say the furnace um, isn't working anymore, but here's here's a small credit for you. Or they were going to offer a home warranty for it. <laughs> That's what they were going to do. They were going to offer a yeah. home warranty first. Uh-huh. And and I said to that agent, uh, that home warranty, <laughs> uh, if, they, if they know it's failed, yeah. they really need to step up and fix that. But if they had had the home warranty in place to begin with yeah. – it would have been a far different cost for them. Yeah. Absolutely. We assume when a home warranty is put in place that everything is in working 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 order, correct? Mm-hmm. So um but it you know it always does give that client that peace of mind. You know, so for you know that seller option, absolutely. You know, if they put that seller coverage in place when they when they list it or, you know, prior to that inspection, that absolutely could have potential for coverage down the line for them. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. You can't buy car insurance while you're sitting at the accident scene. You right? cannot. You, you got to think ahead for <laughs> these cannot. kind of things. Yeah. That's I can, a great I can't analogy. Am- well, you know what? I can't imagine. I'm thinking if I'm selling my house uh, and I live in a hundred year old house. So everything on the inspection is going to be sort of eh, maybe and, and in a heartbeat, I would say, you know what? You're covered. You've got warranty coverage. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Shoot, yeah. I was going to ask another question. Oh, I knocked it out of your head. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> somebody distracted. Me. Oh man, I know. I stepped out of my lane. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. Um, yeah. What was I going to talk about? Shoot. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to bring up. So um, every now and then you have these people who think they're very clever and buy a home warranty and move into a house, and within 30 days, you're getting phone calls for a claim for a new furnace, for a new hot water heater, for a failed refrigerator. And at what point does the home warranty company say, okay, or is that what the, the technicians come out? They're, they're out there to diagnose the problem, and these guys are, are and the gals are sharp enough to figure out that 
yeah, this this wasn't functioning for a while. Absolutely. We rely on our technicians to make that diagnosis for us. Um, you know, and, and many of these technicians have worked with us and have that relationship with American Home Shield. But one of the great things about our coverage is, you know, we don't we don't offer any age restrictions on our warranty. So, you know, you might have uh, something that shows up on the home inspection as limited life expectancy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we cover that appliance uh, or that system, you know, 30 years 30-year-old system, just like we would a five-year-old system. So we don't depreciate on the value that we pay out um, for that repair or replacement. That's huge. Um, And we don't have an obsolescence clause. So those are really great areas that make us stand out in the industry. And we also, I also look at the coverage that we offer to our clients. We offer the same comprehensive coverage across all plans. Our clients just need to determine what components, what systems or appliances they want covered in their home. We offer undetectable pre-existing conditions, which a lot of other home warranty companies out there, uh, you know, don't offer that. So for us, when our technician goes out to the home, there's no mechanical test required. Just a visual inspection is required mm-hmm. to determine the diagnosis of that item. Wow. That's a big deal. I, I have it a feeling consumers a probably look at the, a home warranty is a home warranty. You either have it or you don't, and that is absolutely not the case. And they need to dive a little deeper, don't they, and find out what what are the working parts of this home warranty, huh? Absolutely. I, 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 I will tell you that in the past, I, I, I know this for a fact, that uh, other home warranty companies have approached a new homeowner and said, we want to see a copy of your inspection report. Really? We want to mm-hmm. see what the inspector said about the furnace or mm-hmm. whatever. I want we, They want to see it and, and in addition to what they're doing, and that will determine what they cover. So having a good home warranty company is important, and, and American Home Shield is a great home warranty company. Yep. Um, they don't cover everything. Nobody does, Nobody does but they do right? a great job of working with people um, to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Christy Golan with American Home Shield, I want to thank you for coming by today. This has been great and informative, and I think uh, anybody who doesn't have any familiarity with home warranties, I, I think there's some great information here. If somebody is interested in uh, in getting a home warranty, where do they go? What's the number that they call? How, how do they go about doing that? They would absolutely go to our website at ahs.com, and uh, they can get all the information available at that site. Real simple. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Christy, thank you so much. This, thank this you. was great thanks information. For me. I learned stuff, that's for sure. So, hey, thanks for listening to Avoiding Real Estate Turbulence. If you'd be so kind to subscribe, review, and rate, we would appreciate it. Please share with your friends, family, and coworkers that they too can find us on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify.